Hey guys, and welcome back to the Evil Within 2. When we last left off, we met our new friend here, Torres, and we managed to cut our way through a load of flaming dudes. Now, sadly, she did have a safe house, but that appears to be blocked by some weird flamethrower SS agent chap. Who hopefully we're going to shoot in the face and get an ass ton of um, brain gel. Because I want brain gel. I want lots of brain gel. Ooh. Ooh, yes. Sniper rifle pouch. Nice. Okay, cool. I'll have it. And some more weapon parts. Exactly what I wanted. There's lots of wood here. There's a whole crate of wood here. And he didn't set that on fire. Out of everything he could have set on fire, he didn't set the wood. Well, fair enough. Let's go. Come on, Torres. You said under here, right? That is what you said. Correct me if I'm wrong. Yink. I thought I saw something flashing in the bushes. Well, we're certainly not going down there. Okay. Let's go to your safe house. I hope you have supplies and coffee. Well, that's one way to do it. Yep. I was maybe expecting a little bit more stealth. Stealth? Pa. Why are you stealth when you can shoot your way through? She's got all of her health back, I see, which is nice. Little bit more stealth. There's no place like home. But a safe house runs a close second. Listen, mm -hmm. don't freak out at the amount of explosives I got in here. They're as safe as cookie dough. At least until I arm them. Yeah, don't worry about it. You can do whatever you want with your explosives, my dear, when I'm not there. I'm not going to judge. Maybe I will. But I will judge in silence. Demolition charges. So what are we going to do about Theodore? Is that a uh, rifle for me? He's insane. His hideout looks like an Inquisitor's dream home. I should be relieved that Myra has Lily instead of him, but... What? Myra has Lily? Yeah. But I'm not sure that's good news. She's... changed. This place seems to have affected her. She's hiding, trying to protect Lily from Theodore. And he'll tear this place apart to find them. If I can stop him... Maybe Myra will come to her senses and we can get Lily out of here. So the plan I doubt is to it. take out Theodore. Yeah. But I have to find him first. How are you going to do that? O'Neill helped me before. I'll call him. But I better give Kibben an update first. Right. But be careful what you say over that thing. She's probably in the control room with that lizard hovering over her. Mm hmm. Right, you are, young lady. I did more than that. I eliminated him. Good. And Lily? She slipped through my fingers again. I'm sorry to hear that. Any leads? The good news is that I've been in contact with Agent Torres. Her intel has been invaluable. That is good news. So what's the bad news? The bad news is there's someone more powerful than Stefano who wants to take this place over. And he needs Lily to do that. Torres told me you know him too. He's a real smooth talker. Damn. I think I know who you're talking about. I'll send some stuff to your room. That might help. Keep me posted. You know I'm here for you. I know. I trust you, Kidman. Okay. Well, that's good. Time to get down to business. That's an improvement. O'Neill, it's Sebastian. Come in. Huh. Something's wrong. I gotta try and find him. You should stay here and get your explosives and weapons ready. I'll need your help once I locate Theodore. Is there a way into the Merrill from here? Yeah, there's a Mobius computer in that room. It'll take you to exit 72. Great. I'll call you when I'm ready. Hang tough, Torres. Got it. Good luck, Sebastian. Why, well, thank you, my dear. Now, is that rifle mine or is that your one? That's your one, isn't it? God Let damn me it. ask you a few more questions before I go. The plan. 
You said Myra was supposed to stay behind and take care of Mobius. How? By using STEM against them. Everyone in Mobius has a brain chip implanted in them that allows them to enter STEM without being affected by it. Uh -huh. The chip allows them access and benefits that normal citizens don't have. Makes Can sense. You let them put those things inside you? It's not like we were given much of a choice. Myra was supposed to send a signal back through STEM that would neutralize every member of Mobius via their brain chips. Basically mm. like a mass remote control lobotomy. Sounds That's good. one way to solve the problem, I guess. If we don't do it, Mobius will just put Lily back in STEM and kill all of us for mutiny. It's the only way. The only way to be sure. I can't believe Kidman's behind all this. She sent me into Beacon. She stood by while Lily was put into STEM. It doesn't seem like her to betray them. You're an outsider, Sebastian. You don't know what Kidman is really like. True. She had to keep her true self secret all this time so that she could get close enough to strike. But why now? Why not when they were building the new STEM? We need STEM to send the signal to take Mobius down. Makes when Lily sense. was chosen as the core, Myra and Kidman decided it was time to put everything into effect. The way things are going now, this could be our only chance to pull this off. Theodore. Tell me about Mr. Theodore. So how did Theodore Wallace get mixed up in this? It was Theodore's idea of sending the signal through STEM. Now that I think about it, he probably just wanted to take over Mobius for himself. Damn it. I knew he wasn't trustworthy. That guy's slippery like a snake. But that's his game. He can convince people of anything. He convinced us that he was here to help us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I've known people like that. They always seem like they're your best friend until they stab you in the back. Yep. How did you find me? One minute I was in a tidal wave of blood in Theodore's hellhole. The next thing I know, I'm in that house with you. I still don't understand how you found me. Me either. I was scouting the area around my safe house for supplies when I heard a girl's voice coming from that abandoned house. I went to investigate. No girl, but you were there. It's almost like I was led to you. That <laughs> girl's voice. It had to be Lily. But how? I mean, she was there, there when no you woke up. how or why things happen in here. Stem was already unpredictable before she escaped. But now? I stopped trying to make sense of things a long time ago. Yeah, probably for the best. Okay. Fair dues, fair dues. Ooh! Please be a rifle. <sighs> no dice. Freeze bolt. This crossbow bolt will freeze enemies struck by it. Most enemies will shatter into pieces, although some may only temp be temporarily frozen or not affected at all. Condensers and gunpowder. Okay, well, yeah, I guess. All right, let's have a brew before we do anything. Sit here, swill some coffee and... Contemplate things. Well, the way I see it, we gotta loot this place and get out of here. And if we can go back to the mirror, we've got some upgrading to do. Yink, yink. We've got a lot of weapon parts here. Well, it seems like a lot, but it never really is, is it? <clears throat> As we've seen before, things get freaking expensive, you. Torres's journal. This journal is written with neat feminine hand. The most recent and did we? It was there any need for that? A neat feminine hand. We've never had any descriptions like that. Uh, not sure how long I've been waiting for Myra and Theodore to return. Time is a sketchy concept inside STEM. Even more so since Lily escaped. All I know is that they should have returned by now. If I die in here, I just want whoever finds this diary to know. That I went in willingly. I did something a long time ago, something that I regret, and that's why I'm here now, waiting to take Lily out of here. This is my last chance at redemption, and maybe a shot at starting my life over. Either way, I'm committed to this plan. I'll see it through to the end, no matter what. Uh -huh. But it's obvious something went wrong. If that's the case, I should keep an eye out for help, like Kidman told me to. But this place is falling apart around me. I hope I can find him if he gets sent inside. Well, he did get sent inside. And he is certainly here. Let's patch this up. OK. 
Come on. There we go. This game is so much better than the first one. It's ridiculous. I mean, the story's still hooky and a little bit weird, but it's good. It's good. Uh, we can go that way or we can go this way. Ooh, mirror. Nice. Yes, high grade. Oh, we already have some high grade weapon parts. That's curious. Right, what did she send to our room exactly? All right, Puscat. Ooh, a slide. Nice. That's half of the slides found. Okay. Let's have a little look. This should yield us some more brain gel as well. Right. I'm assuming that means we haven't missed a slide. I'm not sure, though, if it's going to skip one. I'm not sure. Hey, Kidman. What's up, Sebastian? I was thinking about our first case together. Oh. Give me back a KCPD. That pawn shop robbery? You broke that case all on your own. I was impressed. That was all thanks to you. You took me under your wing and showed me the ropes. Treated me like an equal. Wish I had a mentor like you when I was younger. I wanted to help you become one of the best. But the whole time you were really working for them. Someone wanted me in there to keep an eye on you. To make sure KCPD weren't onto us. Too bad. You could have been a great cop. I'm not so sure about that. The personnel report you read when I joined KCPD was falsified. I spent most of my youth in juvenile detention. By the time Mobius found me, it was either join them or rot in jail. Not a hard choice to make for someone just out of their teens. I don't even know you, do I? I've been in Mobius for so long. I'm not sure if I know myself half the time. Something tells me the rebel in you is never too far behind. <laughs> okay, well. I guess we're never going to know who Kidman really is. Can I have some juice? Thank you. Thanks, Kitty. Uh, right, let's go mod up our weapon. Ah, do we have any keys? Uh, I don't think we do. Okay, never mind. Pretty sure it shows uh, keys up there if we had them. Reload time. Meh. Don't really need it. We've got the most important stuff. Shotgun. Firepower is the most important stuff here, really. But it's such a paltry amount. The rifles... I don't really want to upgrade the rifle like that. I mean, it's good, but... Reload time on this could be better, though. Yeah, the reload time could be way better. And the fire rate as well might be nice. It's quite cheap as well. But firepower is where it's at. We do need that. Every little bit counts. So that's 480. Whoa, 960 to do that. Jesus. We need so many parts. I'm hoping I can do a new game plus on this. <clears throat> I mean, I would imagine we can. Right, so it looks like we're going back. Back to Marrow. Right, well, no time like the present. All right. Let's hope the Marrow is still there. I'm pretty sure it will be, Sebastian. Pretty sure it will be. Back to the facilities. Here we are. Nature Preserve. Okay. Ooh, what's this? Condenser. Oh, portable condenser unit is used in lab laboratories to cool gases and condense them into liquids. Yep, this component can be used to craft useful items. Yeah, like the freeze bolts. 
weapon parts. I'm really hoping we're going to start finding the weapon parts and things in higher quantities. We really need to. Man, we need to. Alright, let's get out of it. Back to the marrow facilities. Alright, well, let's grab you. I think we should probably be using our crossbow more. But it's pretty weak source. I guess we should probably upgrade it. Um, actually. Ooh. Yeah, okay. Just had to flick them all up. Fair enough. Oh, goody. Shit. Looks like Theodore's been here. Maybe that's why I couldn't contact O'Neill. He is safe roasted nearby. everyone. I should check. Pick up on her. Hoffman. Oh, shit, yeah. Yeah, let's. Go back and see if she's okay. Kind of hoping she hasn't been turned into crispy, crispy goo. Someone's been turned into crispy goo. Now, where was her safe house? Uh, safe house. Uh... I guess that's where we're going. Uh, that's not her, no. Alright. Ooh. Come on, let's pull this shit out of here. Can we not? Nope, we can. There we go. Beautiful. Right, let's sneak on through. Ooh, hello. Nice little ammo cache. Ooh. What have we got? Eh. Eh. Well, I guess it was free. And free is the best price. Ooh, more gunpowder. Well, that wasn't too bad. Ten gunpowder total, I suppose. Better than a kick in the nuts. Alright. Let's go. Yeah, we've definitely got to check on her because this is not good. Oh boy. Oh boy. Hoffman, you here? She's not here. Another one of these. What happened here? Well, I guess we're about to find out what happened to her. to go to a restricted area of the marrow? It doesn't sound like him. No. No, it doesn't. Something fishy is going on, indeed. Let's go check out our other slide. Let's see what we've got. Damn it! We need so much gel to get that synapses stuff. But upgrading your character's half the fun. Ah, uh, right. Um. Kidman, it's me. Read your 
loud and clear, Sebastian. Mobius. The name. That was all I had to go on. Every avenue I pursued led to a dead end. And now I find out that they're everywhere. Hidden in plain sight. I don't understand how. I told you before. You don't find Mobius unless they want you to. They've been around for a long, long time. They know what they're doing. We knew you were looking. We were watching you. And we were able to stop you every time you got too close. Why? Why do they do this? People need leadership. The Illuminati. People choose leaders. What Mobius wants to do isn't leadership. It's imprisonment. They know this. If they own all the media and politicians already, they should be out in the open. They hide in the shadows because they know what they're doing is evil. If people knew the truth, they'd burn Mobius to the ground. Maybe you're right. But if people ever did find out the truth, who would believe them? Mm -hmm. Yeah. The easiest way to hide a conspiracy is to make people think there's no such thing as a conspiracy. Well, yeah. Hmm. Thank you, kitty. Well, we're over halfway. So that's a good thing. Uh, we're on like 21 minutes. Right. I sure as shit don't trust this game's... Um, follow Hoffman to discover... Yeah. Yeah, we really should. We could actually go back to O'Neill's hideout here, couldn't we? Oh, nice. Ooh. Time as a concept inside STEM has always been tricky, but the disappearance of the core and the collapse of Union has amplified this tenfold. The changes here have become even more pronounced since Sebastian left to confront Stefano. I'm afraid that he must have failed. I've been keeping a close eye on things via security cameras. Not only is Union changing, but the corruption has spread to the marrow itself. It's changing, shifting, items appearing seemingly from nowhere, creatures that defy imagination wandering the halls. I'm not leaving the safe house until I have a damn good reason to. But who knows how long the safe house can remain safe here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, very tempted to beeline back. That's the way she went. She went that way. Let's go back and see O'Neill. I'm curious to see if he's actually still there. That would be quite interesting. That's if we can. Go all the way back to see... No, we can't. Cause of... Yeah, that's blocking. Okay, so we have a clear cut objective. Alright, well, I guess that's made our choice for us. Let's go. That's a shame. So we can't go all the way back there. Or at least, maybe not yet. Maybe maybe things change later on. At least our shotgun's doing a little bit more damage now. Which is always nice. The biggest problem is weapon parts. We just don't have enough of them. Oh, nice. Shotgun ammo pouch. Yes. Never going to say no to that, my friend. I do like my shotgun shells. Come on, lover. Let's do this. Shut up. Quite enough of that. Oh, God. Hello. You sneaky little shitbag. I mean, honestly. Stomp. F. F. My God, how many times? Oh, more weapon parts. 
At least we didn't waste a bullet. So there's that. There's nothing there. Alright, well, let's keep going. Technically, you could hold quite a few shotgun shells, because you can fill your gun up, well, both shotguns up, as well as having the 16 spare. So you could probably hold close to 30 at this point. Well, that looks, looks like they had extra security for this place. Yeah. Had extra security. Oh, hello. Investigate. Uh, due to the sense of nature of the experiments being conducted, the laboratory is only accessible to Mobius operatives with the proper Unity Cerebral Chip designation. Please observe all security protocols when entering the laboratory and be aware that your clearance level also binds you to top secret non-disclosure tenants as outlined in your enlistment contract. Any operative attempting to access the laboratory, laboratory? laboratory without proper clearance will be subject to corporal punishment as outlined in the Mobius security bylaws. Yeah, shot in the head then, basically. Or plugged into Union. Oh. Uh, I think... That one's... Yeah, that one looks like it's still active. Good to know. Also good to know that we could read that computer without actually, you know, looking at it. Oh, hello. That's useful. Very useful. More gunpowder. We've got a lot of gunpowder now. And more shotgun shells. What was that? Hang on, bullets. Shotgun shells. Excellent. Just what I like. Now, we're actually on just about half an hour now. So, let's head back in here. Save the game. Let's have a little look, actually. See if uh, there's anything that we can actually upgrade. Weapon upgrades, shotgun, um, ammo capacity could be nice. See, the thing is, it's only one extra cartridge. And that doesn't um, show us the difference of all the other shotguns, only the main basic one. Which is a little bit unfortunate. More fire speed could be good with this weapon. Actually, reloaded speed with the shotgun could be nice as well. Let's... Oh, we can actually do that. Yeah, go on. Why not? Um, I don't really... Oh, that's 700. That could be a nice thing to get. Smoke bolt, shock bolt, explosive bolt, harpoon, freeze bolt. What are the advantages of this? Area of effect. Okay. Yeah, you're going to have to play this game multiple times, I think, to get everything. Charge time. That's quite nice, you know. But I think we're just going to concentrate on getting the shotgun firepower for now. 480. It's not it's not ridiculous amounts. And that's 300 as well. So that's not too bad either. All right, anyway, guys, I'm going to end this video here. Thank you very much for watching. When we return, we're going to continue following O'Neill and Hoffman, I guess. Or at least find out what the devil's going on with those two anyway. So thanks for watching, guys. And as always, until next time.